Please God, this needs to work. Hello guys, it is Matt here from Sophisticated Obsession. First of all, I would like to apologize for the, the sheer amount of time that, um, that it's been since I've been talking to you guys. I'm so, so sorry. That is partly the fact that I've just been so, so busy at work, but also this is the third time that I've tried to shoot this video. If this does not work now, I think I might shoot myself. For some reason, the sound has not worked, so if it does sound crackly in any way, um, I do know about it, but to be quite honest, I just cannot be asked. It's going out whether I like it or not. Also, what is with my hair today? You know you get like some of those days when no matter how much gel you put into your hair, it doesn't make a difference, like it still looks rubbish. Yeah, I'm having one of those days. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the review. So today I am gonna be doing a review on Frederick Marles, French Lover. Let's hit some B-roll while I sort my life out. Did you enjoy that little piece that I've been putting together? I uh, hope so, because it took a hell of a long time. I, I hope you did um, enjoy it. It was just like a little piece to show the unboxing. Uh, yeah. Autumn is upon us, guys, and I just think that this is the most awesome autumn fragrance. That sounded quite difficult. First of all, what do we know by the name of French? Lover. When I think of French lover, I think of something quite gourmandy, like something quite sweet and decadent and inviting and luscious and blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know why. I think it's because French lover. I'm thinking of Paris. I'm thinking of the city of love. I'm thinking of all the things that you would then probably have on like a Valentine's Day. You know, like roses, chocolate. And do you get that with this fragrance? No. You do not. This is a woodsy fragrance through and through. Speaking of woods, you might actually struggle to find this fragrance online. Like when I was looking for it, I could not find it uh, because it's under a different name. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna go on the website now. <laughs> oh, well they have changed it. It does say French leather there now. Thanks. Oh, Bois de Arage. Okay, there you go. What the hell? What's that? Just a, a random picture of something blurred. Bois de Orage is translated to like storm of wood. To be quite honest, that name suits this fragrance a hell of a lot more than French Lover. Top notes of Pimiento, Angelica and Juniper. The only thing that I actually know from there is Juniper and that's because I like gin. And their base notes, Patchouli, Vetiver and Frankincense. This is described as raw masculinity. For the man who would not normally wear perfume, who believes in naked attraction and relies on the simple seductive power of his rugged appearance. The spicy freshness of pimiento, angelica, and juniper flowers melts into a woody sea of cedar, patchouli, and vetiver, bound by galbanum and frankincense in this mysterious enhancement of man's natural scent. Frederick Marl is not known as a perfumer, but he actually calls himself a perfume editor. Basically, he is given top-notch perfumers to just create their own fragrances using whatever means necessary, and he basically picks up the bill for it. Now, what I really, really like about Frederick Marl is that, yeah, he's put his name on the front of the boxes, but he has put them side by side with the actual perfumers. Now, I'll go into a little bit more detail when I'm actually doing the presentation, uh, but I, I, I think that that is really, really nice because it's actually giving the onus and, and the credit to the people that have actually created it rather than just the company name. Let's just see what it smells like. 
Okay, in the top notes, you get very powerful green notes, like what I've just done and blow me head off. Don't smell it straight after you've then sprayed it because it is strong. There is a very, very strong green note coming through. And I don't know if that's coming from Angelica. I don't even know what that smells like on its own. But there is then a slight sort of sharpness coming from the juniper as well. It is very, very nice. It's inviting. It's fresh. It's invigorating. The wood notes are there, but they're not playing a major part in this yet. Anyway, I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea and sort my life out and I will come back to you after I've drunk my cup of tea to tell you how this fragrance dries down. I'll see you in a bit. fragrance has dried down, the greeny notes and those sharp notes have then gone and what you are left with is like just a very, very comforting bed of wood notes. Cedar wood plays a major part here. Patchouli, not so much. It is there but it isn't so powerful. Also, vetiver, which does aid the greeniness to this fragrance, that is there as more of like a supporting act, but I would say mainly from what I get on my skin, it's all about the cedar. Okay, so that's enough me gassing. Let's just get straight on with the review. So first of all, we come to the presentation. The presentation to this, I really, really like. First of all, let's look at the box. On the front, it just says, uh, French lover with Pierre Bourdain on underneath and then right at the bottom you then have Frederick Marr. On the back which is what I really really like is that it is not Frederick Marr's biography here this is Pierre Bourdon's. Perfumers rarely ever get the credit for their creations. Now this just slides off so then you have got them the uh, the box which is the recycled cardboard type of feel but it is it's very very sturdy with then a drawer and then in the drawer you will then have the fragrance there and just behind it is then metallic. This is spongy, so it's not going to rattle around in here and it's not going to scratch your fragrance. And then the fragrance just sits very snugly in there. Now this is very, very snug, like you can properly rattle this around. Yeah, see? Snug. The bottle. It's got the crest on the top here with then Frederick Marle's name and Pierre Bourdon's name sandwiching French lover. That sounded weird. The presentation to the bottle is very very simplistic. When I was in like the stores when I was looking at it before I'd even got a bottle I was thinking oh it's a little bit naff but actually I really like it now. So it gets a huge point for its presentation. Number two performance. I would get around about two three hours of good projection of like an arm's length any more than that and you're going to start getting offensive. The longevity on this for me is actually really good and my skin is rubbish like it eats up fragrances and I get around about seven eight hours at most with this fragrance. At the end it is very much a skin scent but it is still there. I'm going to say yeah it gets a point for its performance just because it seems to not have any faults in that category. Number three target audience. I've got to be harsh here because I've got to seem objective. Even the website says that this is not for women. I do think that women could wear this, but there are probably other fragrances that women could wear just better. I've got to say, I probably wouldn't want to really smell it on a woman. It just doesn't really do it for me in that sense. In terms of men, I think that mature or young men could wear this. More mature men, you could so easily wear this. It's a fresh, woody scent. Where could you go wrong? Younger men, I do think that there is more of a mature quality about this. I just think that there are probably other fragrances out there that you younger gents would probably want to wear 
a little bit more. Fragrances that have maybe a sweeter quality or just like a, a more sexier quality or just a playful quality, you know, whatever it is. I said quality quite a lot of times. So for the target audience, I'm gonna give it half a point. Number four, versatility. This is an autumnal or a spring fragrance. I probably would avoid high summer and deep winter because there are other fragrances out there that do those seasons better. When the temperature is dropped and you've got like a real freshness in the morning, I just think that that is perfect for this fragrance. The perfect setting for this would maybe be in like at work, in an office, somewhere like that. I also think that wearing this in maybe a casual setting, shopping spree or walk or something like that, what the hell is going on outside? Shut up! I think that you could wear this in an evening setting, but I just think that there are probably other fragrances out there that do an evening setting a little bit more justice. I do, however, think that this fragrance, it is very, very versatile and definitely gets a point for its versatility. And finally, we come to uniqueness. Is this unique? It is unique because I have not smelled a fragrance like this that is so, so well done. They smell just incredibly natural. There isn't any synthetic notes here. The only thing is that this is very simplistic. The main thing that you get here is cedarwood. That, I would say, does lean onto the generic side. All in all, I do have to weigh those up and say it's gonna get half a point. So overall, this gives French Lover a four out of five. Four out of five is awesome for this fragrance. I'm glad that the scoring has reflected how good that this fragrance is. Like I said, this fragrance encapsulates. Oh, that's a nice word, encapsulate. This encapsulates autumn. Anybody who wants to get a new autumnal fragrance should definitely check this out. So that's it. Tell me what you think if you've smelt French Lover. I'd love to know on what you get from your skin and how it works with you. If you have not done so already, please check us out on Instagram just to see what we are getting up to on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have not done so already, please, please, please hit that big subscribe button here. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back with some more content, hopefully very, very shortly in the near future. See you later. Bye-bye.